There we go. Close that as well. Okay, hello and welcome Dota fans and welcome to Spronk Dota's coverage of the Star Ladder Radiant Season 7. Battle. Today's match is between four friends and Chiril, or 4FC is a better known, and Team Menace. I'm joined here today, instead of Iggy, I have Oscar. My, Good evening. My Finnish companion. So, are you going to be much like Iggy and be firmly on the side of the Finnish team here? Or are you going to betray your brethren and support the Swedes? Um, I'm not actually sure because I know Swedes can play some good Dota, but then again, I might go towards the underdog here, which might be the Finns, because we are not Dota. We have one professional team in entirety, I think. Well, they're the only team I know from Finland, to be fair. Radiant there are Finnish players out there, though. There, there is a Trixie. Trixie, Trixie, Trixie is a one. Um, Draxi is one. He's actually a stand in at the moment for Team Menace. Okay. Um, I think he's finished anyway. If I got that wrong, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, Team Menace has been doing quite well on Star Ladder so far. Out of their three matches, they've got two victories so far. So that's good. That's six points on the board. And I think it might be the first, yeah, first match of 4FC. Yes. And here we see a first big visage with bands being Lifestealer, IO, Lone Druid, and Batrider. Well, yeah, Visage has seen a lot of uh, first picks, actually, at the moment. He's just such a strong support. He just does oh. so much damage. On the and there goes an Alchemist. There's an Alchemist, another extremely um, common pick in this yeah. tournament and in Dota tournaments in general. He's just so goddamn strong oh. and an OD. Now, in previous matches I've seen um, Team Menace, they've banned out Nature's Prophet and the OD. But this Here they time, take it themselves. <laughs> this time they're taking OD for themselves. I wonder if they'll get Nature's Profit as well. It would it would fit the uh, the three core kind of meta that is going around right now with Alchemist, Outward Devourer, and the Nature's Profit. Hmm. Now how is oh Razor? Now Razor is one of those heroes that's really good against OD. So is LD as well, which is probably why they banned him out. Um, how about I'm getting banned there? Yep, Abandon's seen quite a bit of um, action in this tournament so far. Um, yeah. People loving the fact that his um, his shield Shields removes disabled. the stuns. Ten seconds yeah. remaining. I think that is mostly is one of his biggest things that Five to be able remaining. to take out that stun and then on top of that give, for example, their carry protection. Right, it's not a lot of protection later in the game. It only blocks 300 damage, um, but the way it stops a stun makes it scale into the late game. So. Yeah. And he's difficult to kill, because if once his ulti goes up, you can't do any damage to him, because he just heals him Indeed. back up again. Ten seconds Indeed. Remaining. And Nyx getting banned over there on Team Menace. You see Nyx getting banned um, quite frequently. He's, he's a great laner um, when in an aggressive tri lane, and when you have Visage, you're quite possible you're going to pick a, um aggressive tri lane. He's also good if you are planning uh, to ban out if you're planning on getting a jungler of any kind. Um, so if they are going for a Nature's Prophet... That might be an option. Naga Siren. No fun Naga Siren gets banned here. No fun Naga is banned out. Um, we we'll go back to Razor. Yeah, he's a great counter for OD in the sense that he can <laughs> he can do his damage link with you, and even if you astral imprison him, it's still connected. It to goes you. on. Yeah. So while you're in astral prison, OD can't do anything to you, and you're still siphoning away damage from him. Yeah, he ha he can still back out of it, but it's, it doesn't stop the the damage siphon. So it's it's really good, and of course that kind of counters the extra damage that OD is getting from Radiant the intelligence team. gain. So it's quite a good... And Bane getting banned by Team ban. Menace. If you're going to run a Razor against the OD, uh, you normally want to put a ward that's up on his side of the water. Um, so it makes it much more difficult for him for to, to break sight and therefore break your link. So you'll be seeing that if they're going to run Razor in mid, and I can't see why they wouldn't. Unless Team Menace are going to try to mix it up and, and put OD um, somewhere other than uh, Indeed. Ten mid. seconds remaining. Darkseer, oh, Dark Flaner. Yeah, he's also a brilliant combination with the Alchemist. If you can vacuum them all into one place, the area of effect um, stun yeah. from Alchemist yeah, is fantastic. It, it, yeah, it's fantastic. I wouldn't be surprised if they go for some kind of wombo combo and pick up a Jakiro as well. <laughs> oh, Jakiro. Because the Jakiro um, stun, suck them in, Darkseer, Macrobiot, yeah. Alchemist, follow-up stun, Ooh. everyone's dead, unless they have a BKB. 
intense. And Indeed. then everyone else is dead. <laughs> They've got to get focused by a five-man team. Five seconds. Not to mention OD has a fantastic, huge air of effect ultimate as well yeah. in Sunny's Eclipse. So Indeed. there's a hell of a lot of team fight on Team Manus right now. Yeah. Now, question is, what is Four Friends and Plus Chirolet going to do about this? Well, I would think is they're going to have to go for some kind of split push because they're not going to want to be fighting the whole team if they Rubric. can help it. Of course, so Rubik's also a great pick, pick in the, 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 the fact that he can steal all of these awesome yes. that, um, abilities. Um, he'll be looking for Dark Seer's wall, I'd imagine, as the yes. main one. Yes, that um, is the main one. Sunny's yeah. Eclipse isn't a bad one, although he won't have that much intelligence. Yeah. And Indeed. He'll, he'll, he's going to be outlevered by the Dark Seer and he's going to be outlevered yeah. by OD. So he's only going to be really doing damage to Alchemist and whatever other supports they pick up. And Ten most supports remaining. are, of course, intelligence heroes anyway. So it's not a great yeah. steal for him. Five seconds and another remaining. thing is that Rubik in here is rather, because he was picked third, he's rather now intimidating because they can now quite, to some extent, Reserve. see where Team Menace lineup is going. So now they can be like, with Rubik, you can be like, okay, you can pick those heroes you want, but do you want to let our Rubik steal those heroes' abilities? So it's well, kind of like... The, the thing is, he, although he can steal them, they're not... Without the wombo combo altogether, they're not as effective. So it's actually quite clever by Team Manus doing that. Because although he can steal some of their abilities, um, he can't get he can't get both of Darkseas. He can't get the wall and the vacuum, and you need them in combination. And Indeed. although Alchemist Sun's alright, you don't really want it on your own. It's not that great. And oh, well, Devourer's Sunny Eclipse, I've already Five mentioned. The only thing he's really going to be nicking a lot of is probably going to be the Astral Imprisonment, because that's going to be great. And, and Chen getting picked by Team Menace. Yes. Uh, this goes back to supporting the banning of the Nyx Assassin so they could pick up a jungler. Um, it means that they're going to have a lot of decent push as well um, as the team fight, meaning they can try to force fights on the towers. And that's what they want. They want these fights. Unless, of course, four, four friends are going to pick up equal amounts of team fight in their Reserve offlaner, time. or they're going to go for the split push, which is next to Prophet. 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 Yes. Prophet, very strong split pusher with red load up. And not maybe the most efficient farmer in the jungle, but he is a very long-lasting farmer. Is that you just pop your trends and basically let them do the do all, do your job, he, let them take the damage. He doesn't fare too badly against Darkseer really. on the offlane, um, but that would be suggesting they want some kind of aggressive tri lane with well, that's for the Visage and, and Rubik. But I don't know if that's going to be the case. I think if they're going to go for more split push, they're probably going to think about picking up an anti-mage or something like that. Because he, he he can farm really well, just like Alchemist, but he has a better ability to split push due to his blink. So he might be a decent enough to be their main carry. And it, of course, supports the th uh, the three core attack that they've got. from Grand Razor, they've got Nature's Prophet, and then they're going to go for a amount of hard carry now. Indeed. Inter I'm interested to see what the, the last uh, support pickup is going to be for Team Menace. Jakiro would be nice, but the stun is actually better on Rubik than it is on Jakiro. Because of the instant cast type. <laughs> it's like the best, one of the best spells you can steal as a Rubik. In my opinion. But lots of consideration oh, to be made here yes. in the last ban. Indeed. They are trying to think something that would hamper Four Friends' lineup at the moment. I mean, they could also go full split push and pick up PL. But without Indeed. the Cottle, he's not as strong. Indeed. But he'll, if they're going to try to do the tri lane against off lane, which is probably what's going to happen, I don't see the Dark Sea Nature's Prophet um, going to be matching up. And because they've got the Chen, that suggests that they're definitely going to be in their own uh, safe lane with the Alchemist and whatever support they pick up. So. It could be quite easy they can go for someone who can farm heavily for uh, four friends because they're only going to be up against the darks here. And, uh, and anti mage gets banned. Yeah, it was the anti mage that got banned in the end. And Avengers vengeful. Spirit. Oh, she's she's Brilliant. not too bad. I mean, she helps. She scales towards the late game um, quite well because of her passive. Um, yeah. And her stun isn't the worst thing in the world. It's not it, it, a great stun. It, 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 but, it, it, it deals very much damage. Yeah, it's a 360 nuke at like maximum level. Uh, the stun is, I think, 1.77 seconds, so it's just under 2 seconds. Um, it's not the most reliable thing, but she has a armor reduction of, I think it goes up to 5 ten, ten seconds on remaining. her um, her whale, which is always good, because minus armor is always good. 5 seconds remaining. 
But she's banned out anyway. Of course, the aura um, with time. Alchemist would make him pretty damn lethal. <laughs> Does he need more damage? Not really. Ten seconds it's also going to be interesting to see how they build the Alchemist. If they're going to go like full... Oh, a clockwork. Clockwork. Okay. Clockwork support, maybe? Indeed. Or, this is probably more likely, clockwork mid. Hmm. That would be an interesting way of doing things. Well, OD is going to struggle against Razor. There's no no doubt about that. Indeed. Indeed. Um, so, clockwork might have slightly better chances against Razor. Although the problem is that Clockwork is a melee hero, so if Razor, if, if Clockwork tries to go on Razor and Razor like, gets the um, static link, then there, there is really hard, hard time of getting out of that. Well, not really, because you got the static link on, he just drops his cogs and it pushes Razor away while mm, he retreats cogs. the other yes. way, so they can they can break indeed. the tether in that sense. So it's, oh, it's yeah, not the indeed. worst oh. matchup in the world. Um, of course, ranged versus melee is always yeah, ranged, unpleasant. Ranged melee is always slightly unpleasant. But as long as he stays alive and gets his level six, which is what you're looking for on a clockwork. Indeed. It should be good. Well, then you, yeah, you start. You can start ganking then, and yeah. then gain most of your levels and gold from ganks. It's still even if they do put clockwork mid. It's going to be a kind of interesting situation of how they're going to lane everybody else, though. Mm. Where's OD going to go? Put him on the, if you put him on the yes. offlane against the tri lane, he's gonna get absolutely nothing. He really, really excels in that solo. Mirana. Well, Mirana. Mirana. Well, that's their offlaner, which is quite Ooh. good. She can, they can avoid the team fights now because of her ultimate. If Indeed. it's not going well, they can all just go fuck yeah. this. I'm here invisible. Uh, <laughs> yeah, which, which is actually rather because otherwise, other than Mirana Star Storm, uh, four friends and plus Trilay do not have that many like AOE abilities. Well, they have Razor's Plasma Field, sure, but, but those are the only two abilities they have that I've can really add well, up the team. It's not too bad. Fade point, yeah, well, well, yeah, but it's they 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 have these little things, but they don't have anything big. So, well, yeah, they don't well have as a you, dragon slave or... yeah. Yeah, where you have like that. yeah, where on me, team, team Menace you have the wall, you got Sanity's Eclipse, <laughs> you got Ten seconds a very stun. hardcore team fight. Yeah, very hardcore team fight abilities. Five yeah, they're gonna Team Menace are definitely gonna be trying to to uh, push this match as early as they possibly can into team fighting, so they can take the advantage of their uh, superior team fight. Um, Four FC definitely gonna be match. trying to be a little. A little difficult to deal with. They're going to try to stay out of the fights, get pickoffs where they can using Mirana's ultimate, split push with the Nature's Prophet. Um, but they don't really, if you look at them, they don't have a proper hard carry in their team. Mirana is more of a semi carry ganker, really. Indeed. Um, Razor's um, an early carry at best. Um, he really, he just excels at stealing it from other people. If you can't get the, the damage, then he doesn't tend to do a lot. Cause look, it depends how they build him, because you can build him to do a lot of damage himself. But then again, he's more fragile if you do that, so Indeed. it's difficult. And then he needs and to survive very, as long yes, as possible. Yes, he needs to survive as long as possible to get the static link going, get the damage, and then start attacking. Nature's Prophet can carry pretty bloody hard, but throughout the entire yeah. game, he remains a glass cannon. So they haven't got a frontliner in their team. Well, Razor to a degree can be their frontliner, but they haven't got something like Alchemist. And they haven't got Clockwork. So, it's, and actually, to be fair, Darkseer is pretty tanky once he gets his mechanism up, so. Although, I, I'd be interested to see if he's going to pick it up or they're going to leave it to the Chen in this game. Depends on yeah. the farm, I suppose. Wards are being dropped on both, both sides. Surprisingly, in the Radiant Jungle. We have an Observer Ward by the, um, Dire near the, um, bottom rune spawn in the stairs, and Radiants have them in there basic place in, in their jungle yeah, overlooking it's, the It's spot. a good position, it's gonna block these two camp spawning. Um haste. Oh, <laughs> Jen's got haste. He might have to um end up jungling in the enemy jungle with the these blocks unless they can deward them. Yep, and it looks like we have the Wait, we have Mirana here in bottom with Rubik and Visage. Yep. Top we have Razor in the middle we have Nature's Prophet. Yeah, they're trying to get the safe lane to the OD, nice try. which is nice. He's going to be mostly up against just Marana if you can keep it the uh, creep wave where it is. 
Um, Alchemist is just kind of wandering. Is he support Alchemist? Let's see. He has bought smoke. They need to be quicker. They're going to take this ward out before the enemy. That de warded each other. Brilliant. Oh, there's a bear. That stun gets procced, but he's lifted up and knocked back down. Stun comes out. Oh, oh, stun comes Rubik. out. He could be in trouble. Out comes the first fire blood. His first blood. Uh, this might very be likely. First blood. Aston Prisman on the Mirana as well, stopping her from going to aid her ally. And yeah, first blood on the Alchemist, who does seem to be acting as a support here, which I didn't really uh, think about, to be honest. Um, well, he does have a decent stun, and the acid spray is a decent support esque ability, but his ulti is really not fit for playing support, to my mind. Yeah, it gives you bonus regen, but. It, it's decent enough, but I always feel sad when I see him as a support, because he's such a good carry. Indeed. Then again, if the farm goes really well, Alchemist is one of those heroes that can farm up ridiculously quickly. In, towards the later end of the game with a maxed out Gribble's Greed. So he could catch up and, you know, because OD can't carry that super hard. He he kind of peters out around 35, 40 minutes. Whereas Alchemist will be peaking around that kind of time and doing a ridiculous amount of damage. If, I mean, if he's a free farming carry. But they're yeah, doing alright. They're doing alright. Razor's on the off lane. He, they tried to lane him. They, I think they thought they'd be up against OD, but they ended up against Clockwork again anyway. And the Darkseer's up here as well. He's just Prophet's in the mid. Getting Going on Razor there. here. He's got the link up on Clockwork, so look, Clockwork does literally no damage right now, but it doesn't matter. All the damage is coming out from the Iron Shell on the Darkseer, and it's another kill. Going to Team Menace right now. That is a very, very nasty trick for Razor. Yeah, you, know, you don't have any damage. I don't need it. I have an Iron Shell. Smoke you were talking about. Stun comes out, hits on Rubik. Are they going to get Rubik again? Acid Spray is down, taking a lot oh, of damage. Oh, oh, oh. He's on the run. No, he. One right click away. away, but no. They might bring down Marana instead, though. She leaps away nope. behind her tower and they force no two salves out, died. but no kills. But you know, they didn't lose any of themselves, and there's a little bit of space for OG to farm up and for Alchemist to farm up, too. But here's this early aggression we expected out of Team Menace. Indeed. And they really need it if they're gonna get this OD. Those items are important to him. Normally in mid, you get uh, OD builds himself a um, a mechanism. But I don't, it, they've got three people on their team that you'd expect a mechanism on in, in competitive. You've got Chen, you've got Darkseer, and you've got the OD. But you don't tend to build more than one in a team. Because it's obviously the, it's better to build multiple items. So it'll be interesting to see what they do with the OD. Because they like they, you, on the OD you like um, items that are a very low mana cost that help you proc your essence aura, uh, which is why the buckler for the money and for how long the cooldown is, it's like one of the greatest items you can possibly have on an OD to proc your essence aura. And there goes your lesson in why Mechanism <laughs> became popular in mid on an OD. Yes. So, in terms of some CS, we have Nature's Prophet taking the lead with 22 last hits and 9 denies. Then coming, next coming um, in last hits, coming the Darkseer with 21, but no denies whatsoever. Then Razor with 20 last hits and 8 denies, and the rest of the team. So, the... The prophet is getting very, very nice free farm in the um, in middle, because now because now now Darkseer has rotated there, but before he wasn't he was not there. So yeah, but he got a kill off it. So yeah, he might true. be a bit behind on CS and a little bit behind on levels perhaps because of the denies. But you're not expecting a Darkseer to get many denies because his animation true. is shit. And he's, and, he's melee. Melee. and he's up against uh, um, Nature's Prophet. <laughs> Nature's Prophet. It's not going to go particularly well for him, but he's doing a good job for himself. He's got that kill, like yeah. I mentioned. Yeah. He's level six. Um, his, yeah, there's actually very different, very little difference in the XP at the moment. So that kill really helping him push along. Oh, Alchemist! You can see that Alchemist is playing a support here. <laughs> OD just went down. Nature's Prophet can oh finish him off. Oh, he killed the courier as well. That bastard. The gentle herald. Good, really good play by Nature's Prophet there. In the Indeed. Managed to pick up the OD. Um, which was O2 really wobbling no to actually attack. pay attention to what was happening. No I assume he was gone by the tri lane yes. and managed to get out, but TP in from Nature's Prophet finished him off. This is what uh, Nature's Prophet gives you as well as split push 
um, early in the game, he gives you that little bit of extra damage by being able to TP anywhere on the map and, you know, Indeed. finish off a gank. It looks like Darkseer is looking towards getting a rune if it spawns here. It does, a haste rune. Excellent on a Darkseer with Iron Shell up. Turbo Seer. First knight arrives. Uh, no Night Stalker though, to make the most of it. I like to Indeed. see more Night Stalker in games, to be honest. He's, a, he's a fun hero. He's a, he's a huge risk to take in a team though. It's either Indeed. he, he it's, it's either he does ex Yeah, either he does extremely, extremely well, or then he is like, oh, I'm just here and I make <laughs> night longer. It gets to the point where, yeah, he makes night longer and he has cool vision. Um, if you manage to get Agonims, but if he's not doing well, he doesn't have an Agonims. All, all you tend to see is that he picks up a Heavens, uh, Heavens? Heavens Halberd, uh, just so he can disable the enemy carry, um, and it gives him a little bit of evasion so he doesn't die quite so much. And oh <laughs> god, there goes the Razor again. Rotation from, from Darkseer, Darkseer with the hasted again. up Iron Shell brought him down. We will catch one of the kills soon. I promise. But yeah. Nature's Prophet having a whale of a time in the minute. Like 1700 gold, it'll be interesting to see if he does go for a Midas like we normally see. Although he probably would have rushed it a lot quicker than his phase boots, so he Indeed. might not be going for it at all. It's due to the fact that he does not have to jungle this time. He has free farm in mid, so he does not need that, that extra gold in the camps because he can effectively just farm the lane. Wow, it's not just the uh, gold, it's the, it's the XP you get from it as well. Oh, I heard it. Stun, oh, Alchemist up. going up. Oh, the smoke, up. smoke comes up. Oh, she manages to leap away oh. though, so she's going to be probably fine. Hooks oh, it clockwork. from oh. the clockwork. Up comes the cogs. Nice. And she is dead as dead can be. Oh, Vizier's is going to bring down clockwork possibly. Nope, he's in trouble. Got a soul assumption left. He doesn't have it down. on cooldown. He is dead. Or rather, it was on cooldown. So another was, good rotation there by nice clockwork. Yeah, <laughs> clockwork. That was, that was a very nice play from clockwork. It was a great hook. I mean, she was stunned up, so if he had yeah, missed that, he, he probably would have tried to kill himself. Um, but back to back to spawn you go, sir. Get himself some HP and mana. How are you doing, Razor, up here? Apart from being dead twice, not a lot, really. He's getting the levels. Um, the, I, there has been times when I've seen a Razor that if he gets a lot of farm, you'll see him pick up an Agonims and then a Refresher Orb. Um, and Radiant have the career back. Hooray! Like it's the snail carrier. It's adorable, isn't it? Crooked booster snail. Well, if you need, well, if you got a courier, right, and you're stuck with a snail, you're like, well, this is not going to work for us. How can we improve this situation? I know, we'll strap <laughs> rockets to it. <laughs> okay, nature's prophet getting some harass from darks here in the middle. It's going to be. The kills are all going the way of Menace at the minute, really. Deep. Apart from that, that one kill on Clockwork where uh, Razor siloed him. It's been it's been all Menace, really. They, they are really pushing the um, the advantage of their loadout here. Yeah, it won't be long until they start pushing something down. But then again, anywhere they... The problem is, everywhere they go, they've got to be careful of Nature's Prophet. You know, if they like pushing bottom, Nature's Prophet can go push top. Because that's how he works, what he does. He's a teleporting troll. Dude. Of course, Razor. Um, he works much, much better in a uh, if the enemy team only has like one major carry. Yeah. Because of the, the, how his ultimate, uh, not his ultimate, sorry, how his. Um, yes, Dark Deer is going for the mechanism here. Ah. Goody gum drops. That'll leave up more room for Chen, who, well, because he's been putting a lot of aggression and hasn't got the most money in the world. Nine and Rubik goes down. Oh. By Clockwork. What happened? Behind the. Um, I think what happened is that Rubik got caught by lock in Clockwork in the Clockwork's cogs and hook, so he was pretty much done for there. <laughs> I keep missing all the kills. I I all I'm all I almost missed it as well. I was like, wait, wasn't aren't, aren't those two on different teams? And I was like, whoa! And then Rubik died when I got there, so it's like. <laughs> Okily darkily. So actually, considering the amount of damage on this tower uh, in mid, considering that the uh, nature's profits in mid, did you expect there to be more damage on the radiant one than on 
the and well, also he's he's mostly getting like free farm there, so I'm surprised he has not pushed like farther away. But I guess he wa he still wants to farm. But Rubik sat here in mid though, just in case the dark seer tries to push on a little bit harder. Behave, Rubik. Dark seer, not not um not mechanism for completed on dark seer. And he's screwing up. Look, might look for a gank again. He's gonna rotate top one more time. Looking for Razor, but Razor's just gone. I'm gonna do a pull through myself. Oh, no, it's just a stack. Failed. It's a very failed stack. I don't. I. Oh, did it? Uh, um, yeah. I don't know what he was doing. Yes, it's I, failed. It was either a really late pull through or a really early stack, but either way, it didn't work. <laughs> I know how you feel, Razor. I know how you feel. <laughs> Uh, got some jungling up here for the Rubik as well because he needs some levels. Um, he could probably do with a bracer. How easily he's been picked off so on, uh, so early on. Nice Prophet has got their Midas. Also he picked up the shadow element so far, so he's not far off his shadow blade. That'll be good for him. Indeed. And oh, DD he's, spawned up top right yes, next to Darkseer. Yes, he's split pushing. He's split pushing. Starts really improving once he gets get that gets that shadow blade up. OD building a four staff. Yep, that's just common practice, especially when you're not building mechanism. That's a little bit of intelligence, a lot of maneuverability. He can just like, if anyone's chasing him, he can ask to imprison them and then zoom himself away. I'll tell you what is one annoying thing, an extra thing with dealing with Razor when you're OD. If you ask to imprison him, it procs his slow. So if you're being chased by a Razor and he's got a stack link on you, and you're trying, you try to, to uh, ask to imprison him so you can get away, you're stuck there for like two seconds. Enduring the slow before he can get away. <laughs> so annoying to play against as an OD. Oh, let me see how quick the bottom minute. tower is under attack. Run, little bottom tower. Um, tower. Yes, they're going for the bot tower. They're really hard. They have some rotation coming. You've got um, Visage, you've got Ruby, and, and they seem to be backing. What a brave tower. Ship sending the bears in. I'm surprised Marana didn't actually stack the ancients while she was there. Another push. Chen creeps ahoy. Rubik Fateboard going in. Yeah, just pull the aggro so they stop attacking the tower. Oh, arrow comes in. Oh, hits, hits the dark dear. seer. He might be in trouble here. They'll be lifted up oh. by the Rubik. As an imprisonment to protect him, though, he'll be able to surge away straight away out of this. Razor oh. coming in. Yep. A lot of damage coming out on Darkseer, but Mechanism keeps him alive. Oh. No, he is killed off, and now they're chasing the OD. Can OD get out of here? I don't think he can. He uses four staff. He's surrounded by the enemy team. Oh He's dead dear. as well. Oh dear. Yep. Good, good rotation there. They slowly rotated most of their team there, and they TP'd in the Razor once they had gone off yeah. the Darkseer. Um, they did only kill Darkseer and OD, so Chen did get out, but... That's two deaths you could do without. Yeah, and one of them was the one of team's carries, so... Yeah, yeah. I think he just... Have, uh, he just regional... spent his money, though, on the Radiant four stars, so it's not the worst the time to be killed off. They're going to yeah. counter push now. Radiant's yeah, we have a regeneration top. rune on top as well, I'm sitting there right now. We're going to have a TP coming in here from the dark here. Good counter push with the iron shell. Should I'm just moving this. in the trees, looking for a Mirana. Can he get a Mirana? No. Nope. No, he can't get a Mirana. He hasn't got the face. He built the face boots, so face boots are great for um, when you prop your Meanwhile, dark dark, uh, no, dark Seed, Nature's Prophet showing that split push ability of his. Yep. Going for a top. That's like a whole. That's a proper word. Split, uh, split push ability. Radiance top split push ability. <laughs> Alchemist throwing out the acid spray. Because that's just so irritating to standing when you're trying another, to defend. Oh, like, and another oh, in trouble. Up, the Dark Seer. Yeah, Dark Seer stunned up. Aston Prison again. Solar Assumption is being built up on this oh visage. He's going to come out it's and destroy the Darkseer. Alchemist is on the run as well. He's going to be picked up as well. Another rotation to defend this tower from the Razor. And it's worked really well. They've got two kills again, and they lost no one again. And Nature's Prophet here too, so they can definitely yes. push this tower on bottom. Yeah. It's going to be really bad for OD because... 4FC for, for is really starting to pick up the game now. Yeah, these, these defenses have worked out really well for them. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. I feel sad for them. Radiance top tower. Chen and Clockwork moving in. OD behind them. TP in from the Alchemist. Oh, he's getting chain stunned by the Visage Birds, though. Creeps are on him. He wants to get some. Oh, in comes oh, a really oh, on the hook. Oh, Manages to get two of them in, but out goes Razor. He's on the escape. Clockwork. 
Oh, Vesani's Eclipse come down as well. They That's do bring definitely. down the Visage, but they lost Clockwork to Visage. And well. they managed to murder off that Rubik as well, being stunned up by a Chen Creep. That was a beautiful hook and cog combo. Yeah, it was done. wonderful. Visage Bird's actually surviving. Trying to stay as far out of the map as possible at the minute. Meanwhile, OD's trying to get some farm on these uh, treants. He really needs to get that intelligence advantage, and he's up against a Marana. Right, pretty good intelligence. Or relatively good intelligence. Uh, Razor's got pretty good intelligence. Bizarre builds. So building Medallion of Courage. Yeah, that's a common build you see on Visage. Um, because it, he has a lot of. Uh, for a support, he has a lot of tank because of his um, passive. Um, add a medallion to that as well. Razor, surprisingly, having built mechanism. Mechanism! Well, it gives him more survivability. Mm, true. So, it's not too bad. Uh, he's, pretty, he's pretty armored as it is, so give him an extra 5 armor. Yeah, and yeah but are, are they are they really going to trust, like, Nature's Prophet and Mirana to carry this game for them, then? Uh, they're gonna go for this. Well, they're going for the split push. If you have a Nature's Prophet, you're gonna split push. That's how it works. Indeed. If you have a Nature's Prophet and you don't split push, then why do you have a Nature's Prophet? Indeed, that, that is true. The the thing is, the real strength of Murano is going to be her ultimate because they want they like they want to pick the fights they can have. They don't want to fight a five man menace really, if they can help it. So they're going to try to avoid that, and the best way to avoid that is to be totally invisible. Because how can they like force a fight on you if they can't even bloody see you? Indeed. Jordan? That yes, that said though, where is he? If I remember correctly, someone on the... No, they don't... Oh, yes, Alchemist has both Dust of Appearance. So, yeah. they have a countermeasure against that Moonlight Shadow. Yeah, but... It only really works if they're using it as an escape mechanism and the Alchemist is in the fight. If... Mm, true. If they're using it as a way to gank someone off with a five-man team, you're not going to know they're coming, so you're not going to be able to dust them before it's too late. You can dust them after they come out of Invis, but what's the point? We're seeing um, the Nature's Prophet going for an Oblivion Star. Oh, oh miscommunication there. They'll still be able to get the cogs up. The cogs are up. Here's Nature's Prophet. He's in deep trouble. He wants to get out of this. He's invisible. But well, doesn't matter. But he got dusted. Yeah, they're going to kill him off. Ooh, Surely like down he goes. Like they might down. actually kill off the Visage here as well. He's built up his solar assumption. He needs to fire off before he goes down. He's on the run. Iron Shell doing the work. And Clockwork finally pitches him off. And OG is alive. This is the important thing. They really needed a kill on the Nature's Prophet. They really did. I Indeed. think that's the first, that's the first time they killed Vintage him. Birch cancelling out OD's TP. <laughs> Can he get away? He should. They, they could give chase if they wanted to, but the Clockwork said trying to kill him off. And Vintage Birch back in the Nippy Radiant's Nippy Nippy bottom tower has fallen. <laughs> that being said, OD's Nippy as well, so. Indeed. Marana. And Razor on the bottom lane, a minute. We're gonna be scattered out by the rocket. Well, Chen is we'll... moving. With Centaur and a Satyr. Oh, look, little wards next to each other, aren't they in love? Not for long. Oh, no, actually, the range of the. <laughs> so close. So, yep, Nature's Prophet back to farming, is what he likes to do. But yeah, before you're murdered, I was talking about the Oblivion stuff he's picked up, going for an Orchid. Now, against something like OD, this is Radius great. Bottom tower is under attack. What's OD, uh, what's OD gonna bring when you have managed to silence the bastard? And it also makes him take extra damage, and OD is pretty squishy. Radiance middle tower is Indeed. Under as a hero, so. That's not gonna hold. The OD might be shut down here with the, the combination of the Razor and that. And. Orchid. The, the 4, really 4 FC is going for Roshan here. With Visage and Prophet. Yeah, this is where the medallion does its work. It really makes it so much easier to kill off Roshan. <laughs> Roshan getting <laughs> sprouted up. Yeah, have you have you seen it when he gets hexed? No, I actually he have never. Into, he turns into a giant. Like, oh, looks like they're going in on this razor. He's stealing all the damage from Alchemist. Though. Alchemist doing ten damage at the minute per right click. Wall comes up. They didn't actually catch anyone. And Roshan goes down. Um, Nature's Prophet must have the Aegis. He does. So they lost clockwork in that fight for very little. Indeed. But they didn't. They didn't get killed off. Oh, oh, their courier is dead again. What? 
Hot <laughs> wizard birds. Wizard birds. I'm not sure how it went down. I didn't see whereabouts it was when it died, but it, it's definitely down. So that's twice yeah. they've lost their courier to, to this. It's actually, um, as far as um, heroes that are good at killing your courier, um, Nature's Prophet is pretty good. And so is the Visage Birds. All they needed now is a bounty hunter, and he's been dead at the death of the couriers. Um, 2013. Um, looking in the um, graphs at the moment, the XP graph is, own, is actually slightly in favor of 4FC. Not by a lot, it's like 500 or something like that. It's so there really is no it. difference. Gold, on the other hand, is strongly in favor of 4FC, bit over, over 5,000. Searching, searching. Hits clockwork. They put the Aegis though on the Nature's Prophet here. They're gonna kill off clockwork, surely. Oh, he's treated. That's a bad time for that clockwork. OD not being able to save him. And lots of neutrals died in that fight as well. Nice poor neutrals. So another death on his clockwork. He's got his blade mail up, but it wasn't enough to save him. See Razor farming the enemy jungle right now. Oh, a pause oh. coming up from uh, Clockwork disconnected. Yeah, the DC for the clockwork. Maybe he's having lag issues, maybe that's why he's being picked off so easily. Um, it's possible, <laughs> it's totally possible. But yeah, it looks like 4FC are really kind of edging their way back in this game. As far as towers Indeed. are going, um, they've got one. Or actually, I think they've got two. They've got mid as well. Yeah, they've got mid. So they've got two, and they've only lost one so far. And, and they have the Aegis. doing some dewarding. No, I say they have the Aegis. They had the Aegis. Um, but good good spot by the Clockwork taking the Aegis off of the Nature's Prophet. Unfortunately, he had to sacrifice himself for it. Big mashup of people in mid at the moment. Yeah. Just defending. It might be possible that they're all going to try to back off a little bit, you know, farm up a couple more key items, or at least one key item for everybody. Um, and just to see what the OD is going to ultimately pick up as his next item. Four stars tend to be the first, and then you can, you can go straight for something big like an Orchid. Um, Cypher Vice, always good. Never knock a Cypher Vice. Clockwork, alone in the jungle right now. Up against a Marana and a Razor. <laughs> Not a happy place if he gets spotted out and killed. But he's back Indeed. right now. Darks here on the bottom. Needs to be careful though if a searching arrow finds him. Marana fires. Hits a creep though. He's going to surge up, try to make a run for it. Nature's Prophet's here as well. Oh, oh comes the Sprout. <laughs> he manages to get out though. He's on the run. Mechanism keeps him alive and they just cannot keep up with him. Roots and run. Good work there by the Darks here. Unfortunately, the arrow hit a creep, so he was very fortunate there. Four stuff out with the Rubik now as well, so more maneuverability. Alchemist, let me see what Alchemist is doing. He's still only got one point group at the moment because he was going for full fight. He's got almost two grand set. Um, he might pick up a Shadow Blade, that's a possibility. Makes him quite easy for him to initiate in that in that way. Indeed. Being spotted out here though by the vicious birds. Oh, 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 oh Orchid oh, oh, is up. A lot of damage. This alchemist is gonna melt. Couldn't get his ultimate up, and alchemist without an ultimate is crushy as hell. In comes the clockwork hook. Only hits treants, and Nature's Prophet is laughing really. He's still DG alive. spotted by Rubik. It's a and rotation Razor by takes Rubik the and the Razor here. Oh, dear. And oh dear, might be in a bad position right now if they can initiate this. There's gonna be a four staff lift coming out. Four staff lifted up. Everything's coming out. Orchid as well. He's silenced up. Four staffs himself away though. Gets. Ah, oh, almost gets healed. Blockwork gets astral imprisoned there. And he's sprouted. Cog. No, he's gonna just die. Even even the blade mail can't save him. And now, see, the fight has kind of definitely gone on the side of 4FC here. They're doing their gank. The split pushing. Well, they're pushing just hard. Hard as hell. Good for the radiant. And there goes the tower. Boom. Oh, Ash imprisonment stolen by Rubik. They've got this. Oh, Darkseer's is in a horrible place right now. He has no ability to surge because he was awkward. He's up, and Alchemist is on the run again. Couldn't save his teammate. They're down four team members, and there's at least ten seconds before anyone gets back. They might be. This might be GG. I wouldn't say call it a GG. They're not going to tap out this easily, but it could be a Rax. OD's coming back, and so is Clockwork. So they might back here. Yeah, flash the Alchemist on. Poof! It's Razor. 
is looking bad. There's nothing on this alchemist, item wise. This, this is why. Oh, and in the meantime, Marana pushed down the bottom tower. And they're going to push onto these racks with these crazy. Yeah, this is not looking good for a team minutes here. Not right now, it's not. The, the alchemist on support, it's just so sad to see him with no items. It's like. It, it, oh, you've won an alchemist with items. Oh dear. Talking about the alchemist, he's going to die. Yep, sprouted, orchid up. Here's Marana, Starfall, he is dead. Although they do manage to get... Oh, she just, hit, she just leaks out! Yeah, that's the that's the problem with Marana when you're trying to play heroes like Clockwork or Nature's Prophet. You can just leave out of everything. Yeah, god damn, you leap! Actually, she's pretty close to her BKB. And by pretty close, I mean she's finished it. But she just has to wait for the items to come out. Odie's picked up himself with an ultimate orb. Haste. So, yeah, type of ice. Coming out from him when he gets the gold for it. Chen, in the meantime, he's got himself an urn with no charges because they haven't killed anybody. And uh, Clockwork had Blade Man, if I remember rightly. But it's just there's not a lot of item progression right now. I mean, OD is still a good. What this Darkseer building? He has a myth. Oh, BKB. Yeah. It means he can just kind of wander up. He can't be disabled when he moves into the team. Throws out his ball replica and then starts vacuuming people through it. Because um, that's a nightmare for you to say. Well, you see a lot of, um, well, not a lot of, but the, the other option is a blink dagger for Darkseer. You see, they love the move maneuverability on a hero like him. Because he can blink in, do his wall, do his vacuum, surge out. Hmm. You know, if they don't disable the poor little booger. Oh. Visage birds spotting out to Chen, just gonna harass him off so he doesn't deward this. Just waiting for the birds to go away. They're kind of prowling around their own base now. Cypher Vice has actually come out on the Nature's Prophet before the OD. This is this is pretty bad. This Nature's Prophet is goddamn lethal. And here is your clockwork. Sat there, dust, start shield. Not a lot really to speak for. They're going on this dark sit again, but they can't actually kill him off this time. Just a nature's prophet and ultimately he, he backed out when he realized the clockwork was there. Looking to defend this tier uh, two in the mid at the moment. But they haven't got a lot to do, they're just standing on the asset, they don't, they don't seem to care. That means you can't hurt him right now. They do a considerable amount of damage over time. The uh, the full level on that Indeed. acid spray. And on top of that, the acid lowers the armor, so yeah. you can also count that the damage is even more because you know, can do the, that there's no reduction at all. Yeah, but you've got pure damage coming out of OD, which basically ignores armor anyway. Mm, true. You, it's, it's good for the, well, clockwork, really, and alchemist, but they're not benefiting it the same way you would normally with Arrow Devourer. I suppose with minus armor though, if they have minus armor, they do take additional physical damage. So. Bottom tower is under it's not, actually, it's not physical damage though, it's pure damage. So. Not sure how that works in conjunction with the acid spell, I'll be honest. It's one of those little bits of mechanics we have to learn at some stage. Normally I'd send Iggy to look it up, but he's not here, so screw it. In comes a hook. Oh, and the cogs come out. Oh. Tried to vacuum the minute, but it didn't really work. They did vacuum with the wall instead though. Razor, BK beat up, looking for a rampage that Sani's Eclipse did absolutely nothing. This is looking bad. Well, they forced them off the tower, but they didn't get, they wanted the kills. That's what they wanted. They wanted to get some kills there, but they got nothing. And is there going to be another engagement? I will after this wall is gone. Oh, actually, oh. through the wall, they're just going to go for OD right now. Orchid does come up. Start, oh, you're a little Stop piggy a alchemist. But he's on the run. And they did get the tower, so... Yeah. Prophet clone almost killed me, Saj. <laughs> uh, Prophet clones are lethal. Um, I, I just. I played a uh, pub game last night um, where we had this really farm nature's prophet who decided that his game, whenever there was a wall up, was to see how many copies of himself he could make and how quickly he could kill his own team. <laughs> the wall is, a, is an amazing. If you're getting agonims up on Darkseer as well, it's just ridiculous. Arrow goes in. Looking to see if Roshan is back. Not quite yet, but he will be very shortly. And it's going to be difficult for, for Team Menace to defend 
this Roshan. Obviously, the advantage does go to um, 4FC, having the die advantage and still having a tier 1 up right now. So if they do lose the fight, they can just TP right back into this tier 1 and defend and get back in the fight. So, Indeed. right off the buyback. In the meantime, we have Team Menace. Pushing top. Pushing top. They do need some towers, they need a little bit of extra gold. Aghanim's up on um, Razor now. <laughs> so his ultimate's going to do a nice chunk of damage. And now it actually does damage to buildings as well. Mm. Making their push really strong. Roshan has goes Roshan. Okay, go Roshan. No ability to contest it. Decided not to bother. Try to take a tower and reply, but they're moving pretty quickly up to defend this. Nature's Prophet's here already. Backed up by Razor shortly. And there, they basically they tried to push. They got no push. Oh, the hook misses. The Dyer's top tower is doing its best. And Alchemist going to stun himself. himself, which is never a pleasant experience. He gets <laughs> sprouted up as well, taking all of his damage. He's been. He's gonna try to TP out, but the damage is gonna be too strong. Cogs are up. Wall is up. There's Nature's Prophet Illusion is doing a hell of a lot, but he's this. dead as well. Wall stolen by Rubik and thrown back out. Aegis gets popped. Aegis is popped already. Managed to get another kill here though, and they've brought down everybody but the Darks here. GG sure. being called out by Team Menace here. That was rather preemptive. It's it's sensible. I mean, that was another big team fight when they they got wiped. I think they got wiped three times so far in a team fight. And when you get wiped and don't even claim a single kill on the enemy team, you know that basically it's not working for you right now. Indeed. And why play another, what, 10, 20 minutes you can force out of a game just because you can, knowing that you're probably not going to be able to get back in it. Indeed, indeed. And the, the minutes did well at start. They did really well at start. They, they got those ganks off with... Clockwork, they got going with OD, Alchemist, but then just fizzled. Yeah, it started They, they well, did not but, push. Uh, they tried to push, that was the problem. They tried to push, and twice, 4FC defended their tower and got kills. That was one of the turning points in the match. Mm. Um, it's, a, it's a shame. I mean, they, it was a pretty strong, it was a pretty strong um, a fight for them. Um, maybe they could have drafted a little bit better. Because I, I really don't like Alchemist on support. He loses so much. It, indeed, indeed. The I'm not sure. Can we say that Alchemist as a support was? It is not in this match. I do not say whether it was a wise idea or not. But he loses so much of his potential when you put him as a support instead of a carry. Well, he was doing shit. As in, not necessarily playing badly, but he wasn't doing a lot. Very early on, the stuns brilliant. But about the farm, he, he quickly peered out, and every time he was in a fight, Razor stole all of his right click anyway. So, there's very little he can do. Um, Razor, despite being killed off twice on the off on the safe lane, rather, by, by um, Menace, he still somehow managed to get all his items. And it's mostly because he was involved in those kills when they, he TP'd in defending the tier 1 on the bottom. Mm. And he did, he did really well. Um, everyone did really well well for 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 fc um ruby got that huge steal near the end nick and nicking himself the wall which really yeah. changed the team fight wasn't going that well um for menace because they had been initiated on um but it definitely went a hell of a lot worse after the wall went down indeed indeed they had a lot of things in their team to counter as well normally counter picking isn't necessarily the strongest idea in in the game because it can weaken your team if they're not necessarily the strongest heroes they play. Like the Razor's picked uh, to stop the OD. You've got um, Clockwork, but if you've got Morana, they can just leap out. They don't really care. Indeed. Nature, they knew that the team fight was really strong, so they went for a Rubik and a Nature's Prophet, so they could split push. So, um, yeah, I think I think they may have been a little bit out drafted in that match. Personally. But yes, the, the 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 prophet was doing really very 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 much split pushing here, and I think that was one of the reasons specifically why the game started like turning around. Is yeah, sure, it was the um the 
the um, team manager's loss at the tier one in bottom that started turning the scales. But Prophet's like Prophet kept on constantly pushing. He teleported. He, he switched between the lames with the teleport. Kept on pushing trends and the creeps towards the tower. Took towers, and but the manager did not do anything to stop it. No, they couldn't do a lot. Oh well. Maybe maybe next game we'll go for them now. They're now two two. So the one one. They have lost one. All is gravy for them. But we'll see how they progress further on this tournament. Um I will be casting next Oh god, what am I casting next? Let's have a little ganders. I will be um picking up Iggy again because he's back. Hooray! Thank you by the way, Oscar, for standing mm -hmm. in. Really appreciate yeah, it. It was okay. It was very It was okay. Even though, <laughs> even though it was rather tight. <laughs> <laughs> very, very tight. It was squeaky bum time um, for me. I was like, I'm so glad this match is being delayed by 15 minutes because my co-caster isn't here either. Uh, them, them, those 80 games and them, those parking on the mats in central. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, but my, uh, ne my next match is going to be up between Next um, and Dooza Gaming. So we'll um, stay tuned for that. And thank you very much, Oscar. I will uh, speak thank to you, you later, my friend. You. Peter, to Lou. To Lou.